So we've now seen Doom run on all kinds of technology. What was the origin story for Does It Run Doom? Jeez. Um, we released the source to Doom in 1997, um, and then people started putting it on different things other than different major operating systems like Linux. Like they started to make it run on other things. And, uh, and I think that when it ran on an ATM, I think that's when people were like, hey, this is pretty crazy. <laughs> and, and then people decided to go weirder, you know, like it's on a piano. Uh, the keys on the piano control front, back, left, right, firing, all this stuff. So someone's like making the worst song ever while they're playing the game. Um, and then it just kind of went from there. And uh, because it's so portable and simple, um, the, the inner loop on Doom that renders the screen, which is, we called it a span blitter, which is vertically rendering columns of, of uh, pixels. So Doom is not rendered horizontally like this. It's rendered vertically across the screen. And uh, that inner core loop is in C. So whatever the platform is, you would normally convert that into assembly language for the chip that it's on to make it go really fast. But chips are so fast that people just leave it in C now. <laughs> Um, and that's why it can just easily run on anything, because no matter what, there's no assembly involved in any of it if you don't want it to, to be, you know, to be there. So, yeah, I think that the ATM was the beginning of it, and for me, the really impressive Doom uh, versions that I've seen are the ones that actually run on VIC-20 or really old computers, because that's actually hard to do. Make it run on chips today like a pregnancy test, not really that big of a deal. Because uh, those chips are today's chips. Like, you know, there's lots of memory and everything. But going back to pre, you know, 10 years before Doom was made and making it run on those computers was really, really hard. But yeah, there's, there's a, I think it's doesn't run doom.com, which has just the list of everything. 